I am here in western Colorado on an absolutely beautiful but frigid morning. I'm in Glen Canyon, Glenwood Canyon, just about to hike up Hanging Lake Trail. Now I have never been up Hanging Lake Trail personally in the winter, so I am extremely excited to get to the top, see how this trail looks. Uh, the drive in and the walk down the river to get to the trailhead is absolutely gorgeous with these canyon walls, snow covered trees all around. It's absolutely beautiful here. So let's get on, head up the trailhead and uh, see what winter wonderland awaits for us at the top. Well, we've made it almost up to the top of the trail here. Hanging Lake is just a little bit up the trail, about 100 yards ahead. But I wanted to stop here where we've got this beautiful view looking down Glen Canyon Dam, down to the trailhead down there. We came all the way up from down there. It's an absolutely beautiful hike. Just gorgeous, these canyons covered in snow. All the little outcroppings and cliff edges covered in snow. It's an absolutely beautiful hike. Uh, this is a pretty, for what it is, a pretty difficult hike. It's only about a mile and a half from the uh, trailhead up to the top, but you do go up about 1,200 feet in elevation, so it's steep pretty much the whole way. The end here is pretty much right up a rock cliff. They built a handrail in, and uh, it's an absolutely beautiful hike. I love it. Gorgeous in the winter. It is uh, pretty cold today. It got much warmer at the bottom when we were in the main canyon. It was so cold, our our water nozzles actually froze. We had to put the whole nozzle in our mouth to, <laughs> to thaw it out so we could get some water. But once we got into this canyon, you can see below me here where it's a little more insulated with the trees. It's not too cold at all. It's probably 20, 25 degrees. Once you're moving up the canyon, it's not bad. It feels good. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now let's uh, head right on up to the lake and check out Hanging Lake. We made it up to Hanging Lake. It is absolutely beautiful up here, as you can see. Just gorgeous. I do wish, I have to be honest, the, uh, I do wish we had some sunlight today. It's really overcast right now, not great light, so the photography is not going to be as good as I was hoping. And that uh, the real bright turquoise color that this lake's known for just doesn't really shine out when the sun's not out. So it's not quite as beautiful as it otherwise would be, but still, it is just gorgeous up here. The canyon walls just towering up above us, absolutely beautiful all around. Just so isolated, so peaceful in here. This is one of my favorite places to travel. I'm so lucky that this is just, it's so close to where I live. It's only a few hours from the house absolutely one of my favorite places stunningly gorgeous up here you can actually see in the lake there's a fish in the lake they're brook trout they're not native to the lake originally this is a fishless lake there's no fish here but they were introduced um, almost a century ago and they've been here ever since now they have their own sustained ecosystem here it's a very fragile ecosystem I did get the camera set up here 
and I uh, got some beautiful shots of the lake. Um, I'm shooting at uh, ISO 50 F11 and about um, 0.4 second exposure time, trying to get those long motion blurs in the waterfall behind us. I did bring some some filters. I got just a basic polarizer on there now to cut out the glare. I did bring some ND filters, but it's dark enough with the overcast uh, skies that I didn't put one of those on. I think a 0.4 second exposure is good enough. Absolutely beautiful. Let's check out some of those photos, and I am going to head up top to Spouting Rock, warm up a little bit with another short hike, and we'll see what that looks like. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Absolutely beautiful hike. I stopped here at this little cabin on my way down. Um, partly because this cabin kind of, uh, it ties in and reflects with my thoughts on the day. This cabin was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in 1938. And uh, the CCC was an initiative started after the Great Depression. It was created to, uh, to create jobs and uh, get get young men back to work and help end the Great Depression and part of what they did was come to places like this trails like this and restore these trails build structures like this little shelter behind us they built the dock on the lake up top where we were and the handrails that we used to climb up and uh, you know they put in all this work to build this and now you know I've been I've been hiking this trail for a little over 20 years now and it's just, uh, it strikes me how much it's changed. You need a permit to come now. Be, uh, because we're here in the middle of the winter, we just needed a permit and then we could drive up and hike it. In the summer months between March and November, you actually have to drive into the city and get on a shuttle and take a shuttle and it's a guided tour with a ranger that brings you up. This cabin behind me you used to be able to go in and explore and now it's, it's uh, fenced off here. They don't let you in anymore. And then so many places at the top too, you used to be able to go kind of more around the waterfalls and there's just a lot more freedom and uh, that's kind of my main thoughts my main point for today is uh you know it's half sad that it got shut down and regulated as much as it is here but it's also very necessary this place is so popular and so many people started coming that it was just getting destroyed by people and part of that's inevitable a lot of people are going to cause a lot of erosion and damage but also it's people that just don't care people are leaving trash at the top people were swimming in the lake it's a delicate ecosystem and people would go swim in the lake people would bring their pets up even though it's always for as long as i've been coming no dogs allowed and even today you need a permit now to come up here and we see dog tracks in the snow people bringing their dogs up here in the last couple days and it's uh, it's just sad to see people be like that and that's that's kind of my main thoughts for the day my main point point that's on my mind today is just just don't be that guy don't be don't be that person don't bring your dog where your dog's not allowed don't leave your trash at the top don't don't write your name this cabin you can see it's painted nice now you know the last several years i've been coming here there are so many people's names carved into it and graffiti on it just don't be that guy it's it's about respect both respect for the wildlife and the beauty of our natural environment that so many of us are so lucky to see and the respect for your fellow humans that now it's harder for people to enjoy this and now my kids won't get to have the experience that i got to have up here because it's just not the same experience now it's not it's not as it's not as moving as it was when i was coming up when i was young because it's it's so regulated it's just not the same experience and it's sad that it can't be the same but it's also 
it's good because it's necessary to preserve this kind of a place, but it's it's sad that it's necessary. So that's kind of my takeaway is is be respectful. You know, as always, I always push, get out, go hike, go explore, go see things. There's so much to this world that most people never get to see. Most people never leave their hometown. Most people don't go out and explore, and there's so much this world has to offer. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And I've been everywhere, all over the world, 10 different countries, and this is one of my favorite places. It's three hours from my house. There's so much this world has to offer. Just do some research, get out, go on hikes, go explore, but be respectful when you're there. Follow leave no trace principles, pack out your trash, and uh, just be respectful of others and get out and explore and see what this world has to offer. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.